It feels more difficult than ever to sit down and work these days. It's a wonder we can do anything but stare at our phones, from the ding of an email to the buzz of a text message to the twittering of a tweet. There are a ton of distractions these days. As a result, our focus and concentration are hard hit by them all. All these obstructions can hamper our awareness and mood throughout the day. While some of us can jump out of bed in the morning with vigor, for others, getting out of bed is the worst part of the day. Even if you've had a good night's sleep, leaving the comfort of a warm duvet to face the cold world is the last thing on many people's mind. However, by moving our bodies a little when we wake up, we can help ourselves feel physically and mentally prepared for the day ahead. The first step is to ensure that you've set your alarm to wake you up early enough to allow you to ease into the day rather than rushing. And to aid with that, we'll share with you 9 tricks to boost your mood and improve your concentration while feeling great all day long. 1. Take a cold shower Lately, more and more, people are talking about the advantages of taking cold showers. They may sound like your worst nightmare. I'm definitely a more of a hot shower person, but research shows that blasting yourself with cold water during your shower could help you fight off sickness, bad moods, and even excess body fat. As we all try to keep our immune systems functioning in the midst of the pandemic, a cold shower may be something you want to incorporate into your routine. A hot to cold shower could help boost immunity, according to one study of 3,018 people aged 18 and up. In the study, one group took warm showers as usual, while the groups took warm showers with cold water bursts lasting 30, 60, or 90 seconds. They did this every day for 30 days, and the results showed that the groups who took the cold showers were up to 29% less likely to call in sick, to work or school, and they reported less illness overall. The researchers also noted that there was no discernible difference between those who took the longer cold showers and those who did not. This implies that taking a cold shower for as little as 30 seconds has health benefits. Many supporters of cold showers have interestingly reported mood-boosting benefits, and scientists are beginning to understand why. According to one article published in the journal Medical Hypothesis, cold temperatures may aid in the regulation of our sympathetic nervous system, which governs our fight-or-flight response. According to the researchers, taking a cold shower may cause the release of mood-altering neurotransmitters in the brain, such as norepinephrine and endorphins and thus may alleviate depression symptoms. If that wasn't enough to convince you to take a cold shower, it's also been recommended that cold showers can help you lose body fat. According to researchers who conducted a study published in Diabetes Journal, cold temperature may help activate the mitochondria in brown fat, a type of fat that is particularly difficult to get rid of and tends to accumulate around the abdomen. The mitochondria are the parts of the cell that convert fat into energy so being exposed to cold temperatures may activate fat burn. 2. Having a nutritious snack Finding healthy snacks can be difficult for those of us who suffer from depression, bipolar disorder, or schizophrenia. You crave a comforting snack, so fried anything sounds great. Sugary snacks like ice cream seem to help, and who doesn't love a bowl of super cheesy mac and cheese? These snacks provide immediate but fleeting comfort and contribute to weight gain. Recently, research on the relationship between nutrition and mental health has been emerging. Yet it's important to note that a person's mood can be influenced by many factors, such as stress, environment, poor sleep, genetics, mood disorders, and nutritional deficiencies. So what can you eat that is both comforting and good for your mood? Eating small snacks high in nutrients like iron and good fats is an excellent way to reap the benefits of a natural high. A high-fiber breakfast was found to provide the greatest boost in alertness in one study, and high-quality proteins, such as those found in eggs, are also important. However, there are numerous foods that can help you maintain a high level of energy throughout the day. Avocado toast, peanut butter and celery, and carrots and hummus are just a few of our favorite ideas. Iron is abundant in foods such as spinach, beans, and lentils, and iron deficiency is frequently a cause of fatigue. Iron absorption is increased when iron-rich foods are combined with vitamin C-rich snacks. And if you can't do without having any sugary treat, then choose to take dark chocolate, as its sugar may improve your mood since it's a quick source of fuel for your brain. Bananas may help turn a frown upside down due to high vitamin B6. It helps synthesize feel-good neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin, slowly stabilizing blood sugar levels and better mood control. So, eat those bananas. If you're enjoying the video so far, do us a favor and give this video a like. 
Now, let's continue. 3. Meditation In a world of daily stress, anxieties, and expectations, the human mind can often be put under a lot of pressure, which directly affects our mood and makes us feel less positive and self-assured. Meditation is said to clear our minds and advocate feelings of peace and awareness by having a profound, rich, and calming effect on the human body. It's an opportunity to tap into an abundance of creative energy, which is said to provide a more meaningful life experience that will permanently enrich us. Everyone can benefit from meditation, and it ensures that you will feel healthier in your daily life. Meditation, apart from increasing your awareness of your environment and lighting up your mood, it also makes you happier, reduces stress, sharpens your focus, and improves your sleep. And if meditation isn't your thing, you can also try yoga. 4. Music When you listen to music, you can be transported to your happy place, whether you're angry or frustrated, happy or cheerful, sad or anxious. There's something about those melodious notes that enchants your soul. Music has been shown in studies to improve our mood by regulating dopamine levels in the brain. In fact, recent research suggests that even sad music can help reduce anxiety and improve the listener's mood. The fascinating aspect of music is that it is a universal language. While the lyrics of a song may be in a language that is unfamiliar to you, the music itself will never seem strange. Music makes you happier, less anxious, and gives you energy. Have you ever listened to a long-forgotten song from your teen years and felt instantly nostalgic? That music has the potential to elicit the same emotions that you did years ago. Try making a playlist of songs that always make you want to tap your toes or sing along, and turn it on whenever you need a hit of happy. 5. Napping Almost everyone wishes to be in a good mood, whether in the present or in a general sense of happiness and fulfillment. Power naps can be extremely beneficial. You sleep for a few minutes and gain an hour-long burst of alertness, energy, and efficiency. If you're feeling sluggish and lethargic in the middle of the day, a quick 20-minute nap can help. Napping is a preschooler routine, but has also been incorporated in the corporate world, where studies show it effectively boosts performance. As long as it's not for too long or too close to bedtime, napping for 5 to 25 minutes about 6 to 7 hours before you'd normally go to bed is a great way to recharge. Napping offers various benefits for healthy adults, including relaxation, reduced fatigue, increased alertness, improved mood, improved performance, including quicker reaction time and better memory. 6. Decluttering Do something you've been putting off. Maybe you've felt your mood ebbing a bit because you've been putting off apologizing to that friend, calling that wedding coordinator, cleaning your room, writing that memo, or just doing something that's been nagging away at you for a few days. Though you may be dreading it, once you do it, you'll feel happier. You'll be surprised by the difference this makes in your mood. Decluttering your living spaces will help to not only make your living space a better place, but will also help improve your mood through getting rid of things that don't bring you any happiness. 7. Exercise Exercising has numerous advantages, including improved physical and mental health. By incorporating daily exercise into your routine, you will notice a significant improvement in how you go about your day. Exercising first thing in the morning may sound like a bad idea, but once you get into the habit, it can help you establish a routine. Simply taking the time to exercise before your regular schedule gives you a sense of accomplishment, and this mindset will motivate you to tackle your day's to-do list. Morning workouts will also force you out of bed, preventing you from oversleeping and feeling groggy. Some folks prefer to exercise in the evening because it's the last thing they do before they go home and relax. While running on the treadmill, one can work off the stress of the day and have some self-reflection time. Exercising at this time of the day is ideal for night owls who have trouble sleeping because it'll tire you out just enough to allow you to fall asleep more easily. 8. Go for a walk Take a stroll. If you find yourself becoming grumpy or sad, go for a walk outside. Of course, going for a walk around your local park involves a number of activities that can improve your mood. Getting out of your chair, spending time in nature, being exposed to sunlight and taking in an interesting view can all help lift your spirits. If you walk with a friend, the camaraderie adds to the benefits, and if you feel good about doing something for your health, that's an added bonus. Walking for 20 minutes will improve your mood, provide fresh air, allow you to spend time in the sun, and make you feel more energized for whatever task lies ahead. Don't think you're too busy for a walk. Anyone can fit in a few minutes of outdoor walking, and it'll make you feel happier and more productive. One of the reasons you might not be in a good mood is that you've been cooped up all day working. Physical activity has been shown to have a direct impact on your mood, so get up and move. 9. 
puzzles, and games. Our mind is one of the most powerful and intricate tools we have. It can either inspire you to reach your full potential, or it can lead you down a rabbit hole. As a result, it's critical that we engage in activities that stimulate and challenge our minds on a regular basis. Just as our muscles require exercise, so does our brain. This can be achieved by engaging in activities that keep your mind challenged. To protect our minds from cognitive decline, we should continue to challenge them. Crossword puzzles, brain teasers, and strategy games keep the mind sharp and active. Challenging your brain to engage in new tasks creates new brain pathways that keep the mind in the best shape possible. It's also a good way of bonding with your colleagues, be it at workplaces, school, or neighborhood. And not to forget, it's also a good way to get rid of boredom and stress. That's all we have for you today, folks. Give this video a like and subscribe if you're new. With that said, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.